subscribe! Hey, free thinkers, welcome to Superpower Story Hour. For today's topic, why do comics matter? Well, comics are epic stories. And like epic stories of the past, the protagonists of these stories are paragons of the virtues that their respective societies hold dear. Going all the way back to ancient Greece, Odysseus possesses the qualities that ancient Greece revered. He is known for his leadership, strength, courage, and most of all, his intelligence. Odysseus got out of a lot of jams with his quick wit on his way home in the long journey of the Odyssey. This story comes from a time when the ideal male was like Odysseus, someone intelligent, strong, and brave. Someone who could lead people through hardship. Odysseus, like other Greek heroes, had a thirst for glory. This thirst inspired him to pursue great deeds. However, Odysseus breaks the rule of ancient Greek characters by being dynamic and learning from his past mistakes. By the end of the story, Odysseus is able to swallow his pride and show patience to achieve his goal of being reunited with his family. Fast forward to World War II. America was at war with the Nazis and plenty of them needed punching in the face. Who better to do it than Captain America? Steve Rogers, the original Captain America, was a puny little guy with a heart of gold. After being made into a super soldier, he became a symbol of individualism, loyalty, friendship, and honor. During the years of not only World War II, but Vietnam and later government surveillance scandals to follow, Captain America embodied the values America and the West in general needed at the time. Like most comics of the day, Captain America was made for kids. Why? Because kids needed to be taught that their country's values were right and true. They needed to know that America was great and Americans were the good guys. There was another character that was written for kids around the same time. Like Captain America, this character embodied values that seemed to make him the perfect person. He was always fair, courageous, kind, and selfless. I am of course talking about Superman. Superman was actually written to be a Christ-like representation in comics. Their parallels are obvious. Then we have Batman. Unlike other superheroes, Batman has no superpowers. He relies on his intellect, fighting skills, and wealth. All traits that were valued by Americans when the character was written. So, what are superheroes like today? Well, we have Captain Marvel, and she learns lessons in her story, like she really did not have to control her emotions or smile, and anyone who told her otherwise was probably a man who needed a severe beating. Or, if you want to consider science fiction as part of our story of heroes, we have Rey, who was amazing with the Force from day one, and therefore did not have any hard lessons to learn. She just went out into the world and set the record straight on how awesome she was. To better reflect today's world, we even have new iterations of Robin, the Green Lantern, Loki, even Superman and Captain America. What's different now? Well, let's just say they bat for a different team. We even have Batwoman, April O'Neil, Mary Jane, Carrie Kelly, they're all back. What's different now? Other than their appearance, not much. Other than Batwoman, don't watch that show, it's a waste of time. Recently, I've been watching things like James Bond, Moon Knight, The Witcher, there's even a new version of Walker, Texas Ranger. What's different now? Well, let's just say a lot has changed about these protagonists. What lessons are to be derived here? Lessons like men should stay in their lane, which is apparently out of the way of, let's just say, more diverse characters. 
who serve themselves and learn nothing because they are already perfect. Are these heroes concerned with family like Odysseus? No, most of them are incapable of procreation and all of them are too self-centered to start a family with kids they wouldn't say change just for the street cred. So why does any of this matter? Again, values. These trends either reflect the values of the society we live in or they reflect the values the creators want our society to have. Why is this especially alarming? Well, as mentioned before, comics are geared toward instilling values in kids. Like all things of, let's just say, the alphabet. All things Marxist, nihilistic, or generally anti-American. These comics are especially geared toward kids. That is why we should care. This is more than right-wing nerds talking nerd stuff. This is a culture war where you are the collateral damage and your kids are the primary target. This is precisely why we should be active participants in this culture war and not just occasional vigilantes on the internet. That is why right-wing comics have a mission. So what do these right-wing comics have to offer? Traditional views of masculinity, the virtue of merit and meritocracy, the pitfalls of pride and entitlement, Odysseus, Captain America, Batman, and Superman as you remember them. And last but not least, deeper stories. Why? Because people are more than their demographics. Superficial qualities do not define a human being. You were created by God with dignity and value. Your heart, soul, affections, and choices define you. It's time we all make the choice to get on board with taking the culture back. Like my avatar, his name is Orion, and he will be showing up in an indie comic near you. Keep an eye out for this one, and remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any important updates. See you next time.